Everyone, we're back for another fun-filled, info-packed episode of Utah Homes HQ Live. <laughs> you do have a good radio voice. Oh, does it work out okay? Yeah. You, uh, I wasn't, I'm not going to make the face for radio joke that often follows, but... I've yeah. been moisturizing. I want you to know this face should be <laughs> a lot better for YouTube than ever. You, but Every no, day. you've got that announcement. Ladies! Voice. I think you should when uh, and gentlemen. Dan Roberts, you know, the jazz. When he uh, retires. He's got to be getting close to so, retirement. Put in your name. I've been complimented on my voice many times over the years. And in moments of fantasy, I've thought, what if could I fill in for Dan Roberts? And then I thought, I don't want to go to 41 jazz games a year and talk the whole time. <laughs> and then playoffs? Are you kidding me? I don't know. And then the pressure, I'd screw up. Yeah. They, I hope he's paid well. I, I wonder. I could uh, be bought. I could be bought. Yes. Say, give me uh, two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. Is that how he says it? I don't yeah. Know how he says it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. David Benoit in for Carl Malone. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Those were the glory days. Okay, we got off track, but we're not starting over because Sorry. that's the type of stuff <laughs> that you want to know. Yeah. Uh, so in a previous video, we talked about the top things to do in Ogden, and now we're going to talk about the top things to do in Davis County. So this mi video will be 30 seconds long. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're throwing I shade at Davis I County? I live in Davis County. There are things to do, <laughs> and we're going to talk about both of them. Okay, so let me go ahead and transition here. Um, another geography lesson for people that don't know. This is going to be helpful for people uh, relocating from uh, for Hill Air Force Base. But um, I'm not super techy enough to be able to just go ahead and outline Davis County. But we've got Salt Lake right here. And then you see we've got Ogden up here. Davis County is the parts right in the middle. So out here we've got Antelope Island, which we will be talking about Uh out in the Great Salt Lake, which is the not as good Salt Lake, but a getting better Salt Lake. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> not so great right now. <laughs> uh, and then we've got Farmington right in here, and we're going to be talking about a place called Lagoon. Technically a peninsula, right? <laughs> Antelope Peninsula. <laughs> Let's not get caught up in geographical terms. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Things to do in Davis County. Now, everybody probably has heard about the Great Salt Lake. And out in the Great Salt Lake, there are a series of islands. I want to say there are seven, possibly. Uh, Let's not yeah, I'm, play I'm, trivia on what those are. Okay. I mean, the, the big ones are Stansbury, Antelope. Uh, Fremont. Fremont. And uh, I guess Promontory, right? Even though it's... You know, this wouldn't be actually very hard. I've got a, I've got a thing right here. Uh got stands there, Fremont. Free, is Fremont the only privately held? Used island? to be. Uh, fun oh, little fact, it? it was owned by uh, the Diesel Brothers. Yes. Uh, it's been used as a private hunting ground. They ran feral pigs out there. Right, that when the water was low, they made it over to Antelope Island. Yeah, they island, escaped. Right? Um, it was going to be developed into real estate, a uh, real estate project. Uh -huh. um, none of these things came together, so Fremont Island is now uh, owned by Weber County, I believe. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, I think it was gifted to them. I don't know. I haven't bought and sold a lot of islands in my days. But, yeah, <laughs> that was privately owned for a little <laughs> bit. We what kind of real estate transaction is, a, is an island is purchase? Is an island in the middle of a Salton Sea and <laughs> In Utah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. They didn't call me for that. We don't really specialize in <laughs> island sales. Um, Antelope Island, though. Let's talk about this. It is... I grew up from Antelope Island. I grew up in a town called Clinton. We were just uh, east of the Great Salt Lake. Um, I've always been familiar with that salty air smell when the wind blows across it. Uh I've spent a lot of time out there in Antelope Island growing up, riding my bikes across the causeway. It is a weird place. Uh -huh. and it I is. I love it. <laughs> it is. <I> absolutely love <laughs> Antelope Island. We've done podcasts with people uh, out there. I always say it wrong. The, the naturalist? Naturist? Which one's the naked one? The naturalist. <laughs> naturist. That's the nudist. 
Ah, who cares? We can't get lost in all. <laughs> I think it's the naturalist. naturalist. Okay, naturalist. A naturalist is a nudist? I think so. Well, really? one that just enjoys be, yeah. nature in the n- whatever. <laughs> in the buff. Okay. Um, we're going to keep our clothes on for this one. Um, but Antelope <laughs> Island is, it's a state park. It receives, I, w- I mean, so many visitors. Refer to our podcast for all of the stats. This is just a brief introduction to it. Um, you can go out. I think to drive your car out there is 20 bucks or less uh-huh. um, to go spend the day. There are trail systems galore. Um, the, the, the main peak that you see for Antelope Island is called Frary Peak, um, named for the ferry that used to go back and forth across the water. No, that's a ferry. I'm kidding. <laughs> I got you. It's YouTube humor. It's not good. <laughs> it's free. What are you complaining about? <laughs> right. um, I've hiked to the top of Frary Peak. It is a, it's a butt kicker. Um, you have to start super early because yeah. that sun comes out and cooks you. It's that kind of... It's not shaded. The island is much bigger than you realize. Really? And yeah, it like is. you say, climbing up to that peak. I've never done it, but it's... it's uh, remind me what's up there again. Is, is, is there like a tower or something? There's an ancient there? wizard. goes by the name of Tim. You have to answer three questions. <laughs> oh, no. And if you what is your name? <laughs> what well, is the airspeed velocity of an unmaiden swallow? If my son Joey had anything to do with it, there would be a donut stand up there. But he went on forever about how he's going to open a donut stand oh, at that's the top right. of Frary Oh, that's Peak. right. And now I remember. There's okay. absolutely nothing up there. It's okay. incredibly rocky. Um, the views are spectacular. Yeah. Um, I've thought there's got to be somebody that's come up with the idea of backcountry skiing up there because it does get snowed on quite a bit through the huh. winter time. Antelope Island is an absolute must-see. Because of its weirdness, you just wouldn't expect that you've got the Rocky Mountains to the east. You've got this large saltwater lake mm-hmm. of varying proportions with this island in the middle of it. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. An island populated with uh, a large herd of bison, which is kind of interesting. It's the largest uh, privately run herd of bison West of the Mississippi? Am I getting that right? Sounds right. That sounds right. Shouldn't be necessary to fact check that. (laughs) It's so cool. They're so huge. They're free roaming. Yeah, and and don't mess with them. I've seen so many people like, I'm going to go. I want to pet the buffalo. I was just about to make a joke that the the bison rides are free (laughs) if you can live. Right? You can't. Do not mess with the bison. I cannot emphasize this enough. (laughs) When those guy on the buffalo videos were really (laughs) popular, I think some people tried to recreate it. But those, yeah, do not mess with bison. They will turn. They're wild animals. They'll turn ugly and mean quickly. They... You s- Yellowstone every year produces a number of videos of people that just thought that they could get close to these beautiful, quiet, giant animals, and it yes. always goes poorly. The same thing happens out at Antelope Island. Uh, it's, it's, they've killed people, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. They've surprised multiple people that I know uh, just running around a corner, and there they are. Yeah, and they, they know that they own the island. They don't care. They do not Your care. Your vehicle is of no importance to they them. They aren't nice at all. No. <laughs> we know a guy that has been attacked by a bison twice. Yeah. On he goes by the name of Lucky. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like the great outdoors scene. <laughs> <laughs> You've been struck by lightning six times? <laughs> 66 times. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they are not to be trifled with. You yeah. will lose every time. Years ago, I swear, I thought I would thought our, as a family, we were out there. We go out there several times a year that we were going to see somebody trampled to death by a bison. So we leave the beach area, and they're, they're crossing the road like they do. They're everywhere, and this man gets out of his car to take a picture of bison to the west. Yeah. What he didn't pay attention to was there was one crossing the road behind him, like a hundred yards. And what they'll do at first is they'll they'll kind of bluff you, uh-huh. but you don't want to take that chance. That's not a bet that you want to call. Yeah. And it starts hopping and bucking and running towards this guy who has his back turned, taking a picture of another bison to the west. And you just thought, oh, we're gonna. The, the blood word. drained out of my face. My kids are sitting right there, and I thought. 
we're going to watch a guy get murdered right now. I start honking the horn. I start trying to get his attention. Ooh. He never responds to me never. at all. And then the bison, right before it gets up to his car, and I, it's hard to judge all these distances, it, it diverts off into the field. If only his father had been there to say, Bison! <laughs> Sorry. All right. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> We're dads. I would want to notice, though, we're not wearing plaid today. We no. are not dads in plaid. This is the first time I haven't worn a p- plaid pattern shirt in, I don't know, six years. Laundry day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so many other uh, wildlife creatures out there. There are bobcats. Uh, there's, uh, yeah. there's a bighorn sheep, and I've seen them. When I, uh, I got to see the whole herd uh-huh. when I was up there uh, climbing Frary Peak. Um, That's cool. Because those, yeah, you don't see bighorn sheep very often. This, and, th- you know, one of the big things that's underestimated is the fishing is wonderful. Did you is know it? that? Oh, no. Oh, excellent fishing. I mean, your hooks only need to be about that big. Wait. But the... <laughs> <laughs> There's no fishing. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> There's like a pond out there? I Did I sell about? it? I think I sold it. <laughs> um, no, it is a dead sea. Well, it's not as dead as you might actually assume yeah there's a thriving industry in the great salt lake a brine shrimp industry uh which are the brine shrimp shrimp. correct me if i'm wrong those little ads you used to see in comic books right Mm -hmm. where you could grow your own sea monkeys sea monkeys they're brine shrimp they're just brine shrimp yeah Um, they they harvest those and then they what do they do fish food it's fish food right Mm -hmm. there's certain fish that that eat those up and, and they send them all over the world right and an unknown delicacy in canada people eat brine shrimp as a no they, they oh don't oh my gosh I was <laughs> say, wait, what? they're like tiny how would you you'd have i'm gonna have you walk into spoonfuls. a lot of jokes on this one um <laughs> no there's there's nothing out there other than I'm brine gold. shrimp also being a bird nerd the the entire environment uh ecosystem of uh, of the great salt lake is responsible for tremendous bird migration yeah um it, it's absolutely fantastic. That's why there's such a foul odor. <laughs> <laughs> Spurts, fouls. Uh, yeah, and mm-hmm. so how about those spiders? Yeesh. Yes. So they have a spider festival. Uh, every year it's weird, yeah. and they are everywhere. And they're also uh, they're harmless. Harmless, right? but they're big. They're, like, pr- they're, they're, they're pretty big, about yay big. What yeah. you want to do is, when you go out there, you just roll around in the sagebrush. <laughs> just get covered in spiders. <laughs> and like they Indiana have a contest Jones. <laughs> who can have the most spiders on them at one time. Oh. None oh. of this is true. But my point is, <laughs> you've got to go to Anal- I, I'm losing when, my... When is uh, it? Is it late spring that the spiders are out in... Uh, boy, we force. went. I can't remember. I want to say it's later in the in the summer, closer to fall. But yeah, even walking into the visitor center, there's like spider webs all over the outside, and mm-hmm. it's, it's an interesting phenomenon. It's a really neat. They've they've found shipwrecks uh, from the pioneers have been found out there in the Great Salt Lake. That's got a with the levels have been a little low, and we're hoping we're going to get uh, some restoration of the lake with this epic winter. But uh, there's a, a huge sailboating community um, out in the Great Salt Lake. This is true. I'm, I, I should pr- I've probably <laughs> completely submarined my credibility at this point. Um, but it, it is a fantastic place. You've got to go out there. You should be warned. Uh, at certain times of the year, the bugs, the biting gnats are yeah. significant. As soon as that sun goes down, you better be in your car. Yeah. Um, They've expanded. Th- this is this is going to be a bit of a critique here. They've expanded the camping out there. There's no way I would camp out at Antelope Island. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It it would be like you you just would have to plan on going into your trailer or tent or whatever you've got. You, you want to be in a beekeeper dusk. suit or something. Yeah, because it, it it is. It seems like that's the worst in like May too, when the the biting. Uh, mm-hmm. Flies I think so they bad, really right? do carry throughout summer, though. But it's it's that nighttime in particular when they really intensify. Yeah. Um, but the 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 uh, geography, the geology of um, Antelope Island. There's an old ranch. Yeah, um, the Fieldingar Ranch. Fieldingar Ranch. Um, really cool. I want to say 
oh crap! I fr- there there was uh, that's what Frary was named after. Some other settlers as well, and uh, he went to his wife was giving birth, wasn't going well. He went into floated across the Frary ferry. Uh huh. That's a joke. Um, he w- <laughs> went across to try and get help for his poor wife, and came back, and she hadn't. She she had passed away. She died. Oh. I should probably fact check that before, I, but I'm pretty sure that that there is, is the story. Yeah, it's it's a, pretty tra- a hey, tragedy. There. Frontier living was not for the faint of heart. No, on and on a weird island in the middle yeah. of a salty lake. There are harder. seven freshwater springs on the island, which is the only way that that could even work. But yeah, yeah very difficult. But anyways, hopefully we've sold you on Antelope Island. It is a cool place. It is a sure. very cool place. You've got to check it out. It, go through the visitor center. Get accurate information. <laughs> and just enjoy it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, so the other thing to do in Davis County. <laughs> so we the have one other thing. <laughs> a, a fantastic amusement park uh, called Lagoon. Um, it's been around for dang near 100 years. <clears throat> um, it's got a ton of rides. I've got a lot of these rides here. Um, it used to be out by the Great Salt Lake at one point. Um, yeah, well, they had Saltaire out there. Uh-huh. Was it? Did it, did Lagoon did get I thought relocated Lagoon, from? Yeah, didn't it get moved from a spot out by Saltaire? That's we, what I thought. We should really check in with our research we, department. <laughs> we've got a lot of <laughs> half truths and <laughs> convoluted facts. While, while you're looking up that, um, yeah, it, it's just a fun family location. Uh, it's seasonal, right? I mean, we have these horrible winters. They were supposed to open uh, a couple weeks ago but yeah, this they, winter did not allow it they just opened last weekend i was 100 percent correct originally called lake park the resort that would become lagoon opened on the shores of the great salt lake mm. on july 15th 1886 that's even older than i thought it was my gosh Holy yeah I heck. well it's uh it's mm. it's well known for th- this roller coaster as it comes up used to be called the White Roller Coaster. I think they still refer to it as that, although most of the lumber's been replaced and is brown. Uh-huh. Um, 1899 is when it was moved uh, to Farmington. Okay, 1899. Oh, interesting. But they've got some world-class roller coasters. Cannibal yeah. can hang with any roller coaster out there, and they've got a brand new one coming up really soon. Um, yeah, Cannibal hits 70 miles an hour with a four, uh, just over four Gs that you're pulled. Um, you know, I think to get into the park, it's like around a hundred bucks, but, uh, a dip for a day pass, the season passes though, the greatest value imaginable Yeah, to get in one time. It's like 90 something dollars mm-hmm. and a season pass is like 200 bucks or something, something <laughs> like that. It's really nothing. And you can pop in. That's what most people, most residents do. You pop in there for a few hours throughout the year. Uh, they, so they typically go from about end of March to, uh, Halloween, and that's when they they wrap up. But uh-huh. uh, it, it, growing up, Lagoon was just the coolest thing. I we my family we only went once, maybe twice a year. Um, we usually went with our church group. So for us, it was just the coolest thing in the world to yeah. do, and uh, and and it made us feel neat, right? Because you always heard about these amusement parks like Six Flags. And Disneyland and things, but we could go to Lagoon and, and get a, a a piece of that action just down the street. Uh-huh. Um, so Lagoon, you got to check it out. It's fun. It's weird as well. That I used to say. be one of their slogans. You got to check it out. It's weird. No, it was uh, Lagoon. It's what fun is. It's what fun is. Yeah. Um, well, now it's what's interesting, though, as I just said, talking about it as a young person, BJ and I were just talking about that we've we've definitely uh, moved into the more elderly approach to Lagoon, which we walk around, we complain about things, and then we leave. <laughs> 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 These <interesting> damn kids. <laughs> One interesting thing about Lagoon too is uh, you can bring in your own coolers of food and beverage, yes. um, which was. Right to keep it, you know, family friendly. You ha- go in and have a picnic, and but <laughs> there's much, much alcohol being consumed as well uh, <laughs> from those coolers. And um, one thing that we talked about, or I remember on our podcast a lot, is just how cool of a hotspot Lagoon was for concerts back in the day in oh, the '60s and '70s. 
You had, you know, the the Beach Boys, the Rolling Stones, jazz acts like Ella Fitzgerald, right? Uh, I mean, they had tons of big name bands, and they, when they came to Utah, that's where they would go and play. Oh yeah. n- not anymore. But. Well, not anymore. I mean, I think they even going back to the beginning, they had like uh, Mozart showed up once. Dude, um, they <laughs> do you mean what's the <laughs> the eighty song? Um, Roll about. over Beethoven. <laughs> Roll uh, over. <laughs> the tell Tchaikovsky the news. The you know Amadeus, Amadeus, um, Amadeus. <laughs> remember that song? <laughs> I do. I do. I can't I, remember. I think one of the last it. concerts they did have, though, when they had that amphitheater, I think was like the Monkees or something like came through. But they, they had huge yeah. concert bands. It's kind of unfortunate that doesn't yeah. happen anymore. But it, it was yeah. a neat bit of trivia. I'm sure it could if Lagoon sold itself to Ticketmaster, <laughs> and then they could get. Uh, <laughs> Yes, All these musical to the acts ticket back. overlord. <laughs> um, I'm looking for a see if I can find the picture of Pioneer Photograph. Uh, what was that? Let's see what we got here. So Pioneer Village uh, is a, actually a really neat. It's like a museum inside an amusement park. Yeah. Um, oh, that's the photo gallery. That's not what I want. Um, they don't have a very good photo. Anyways, it's a kind of a small western town. They've got little shops, ice cream parlors. Um, you can get your picture taken in an Arby's. old-timey way. There's um, an Arby's in, that's like in a saloon. Yeah, that <laughs> makes a lot of sense, but there is an Arby's in the old town. <laughs> a little about? bit of a train museum down there. Um, lots of old buildings from the Pioneer days, Utah Pioneer days, have been relocated on the site. Um, yeah. A couple rides. Actually, did you know they're taking out the log flume? Oh, no. Re- I didn't know that. Is yeah. it, it's gone already. Uh, we didn't go back there just yet, but it, they're taking that out. I think it's getting replaced with something else. But yeah. it's a great, fun place to take the family. Um, and uh, anyways, I can't say enough about it. It's, it's cool. Way to go, Lagoon. Yeah, go to Lagoon for sure. Uh, be careful with those ice cream cones, though. Sometimes they make them way too big, and your two-year-old loses her mind, and you have to leave. <laughs> In shame through the entire park as your two-year-old has a complete mental breakdown. <laughs> it's one of our favorite stories. We have a lot of memories f- with the lagoon. I mean, yeah. as I was a kid, as Growing I, up. you know, have kids. If it seems so big as a kid, right? And now it, it doesn't. I mean, you can walk across it in mm-hmm. uh, a few minutes, but it's uh, it's there's a lot going on. It's great. It uh, has all the charm of a of a large scale. They recently you know, updated the uh, dark, scary ride, the terror ride, which is kind of a cool. Oh, did they update it? Uh huh. Oh, it's I've kind of a cool ride. Uh, they added uh, a beer garden, so to oh, your yeah. point, people yeah. could bring in uh, their their own coolers. Now, I've never I enjoy beer, but I've never understood mixing beer with uh, centrifugal force. <laughs> it it happens a lot, but people with do. With negative consequences. <laughs> yeah, if you get on the musical express <laughs> after <laughs> after a pint at the beer garden, you're good. <laughs> you you might have some for sure. Uh, so those are just a couple <laughs> of things. There's more, but those are the kind of some of the highlights yeah. for things to do in Davis County. Um, please fact check everything that I said. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>